Now we're starting with some of the repairs for our after ourselves to East London. As you saw, a couple of things broke loose and went a little bit badly. The sail tore as well, so I got the sail patch kit here. Let me quickly go show you what it looks like. So top is making list there for our next trip, which is to PE. Hopefully... I'm making a list of all the things I can remember at my age. If I remember something, I write it down. <laughs> because I probably won't remember it tomorrow. <laughs> You can see the uh, tear in the sail. Not too bad, but it's exactly the same as what happened last time in Durban. So I'll patch it the same, I think. Because the patch here, you can see from last time, still looks like it's holding quite well. No problems. There's also a couple of sliders that bent and uh, some of the plastic is worn through completely. So probably also needs replacement. Anyway, let's uh, fix it. Together again, don't look at my bad stitching too much. That should uh, last us for another bit, so let's put this thing back quickly and move on to the next. <laughs> class sailing the land rats is a first class outfit you know we're not flipping these oaks that flip and fix everything with flipping duct tape can't afford musto gear but we can afford duct tape <laughs> i believe the americans are also love this stuff but we're learning here in south africa i don't know how long this is gonna last for me We spent about 10 days in East London. It's a beautiful little yacht club, the Buffalo River Yacht Club. It costs you about 250 bucks a day to stay on a walk-on and 150 bucks to go on a swing. Um, just make sure you know how to get on the swing because we saw three boats get stuck on ropes, although they say it doesn't happen too often. Lovely little yacht club. Great place to catch a beer. It's small, but uh, definitely worth a visit if you're passing through. Anyway, it was time to start looking at weather again because we were planning on going through to the next port which is PE. But uh, lucky for us, the weather window allowed us to go through all the way to Nisna. Uh, actually to the Cape, but we figured we'd stop at Nisna since it's such a beautiful place uh, along the South African coastline and spend our Christmas and things over there. We'd probably spend about four days on the water if all went well. Just about ready to leave for 
nice now, hopefully. We've got the plotter here on point. Radio is on, AIS ready. Everything looks like it's mostly stowed. We'll have to find out as we go. Jackets ready, just in case of some lovely rain again. And a uh, hat for the sun, because it's actually out today. But, uh, couple of more minutes and then we'll probably kick off. Goodbye, East London. We're about four hours out now, and I have to say, I prefer this a lot more than I do the splashing of the waves. And the the raining of the clouds, the roughness of the sea, and the screaming of the crew. In about another three or so hours, then uh, we might get a little bit more wind, start heading a bit more downwind. But uh, this is nice and relaxing for now. If I was a bit more hungry, I'd put the fishing rod out. But I don't feel like cooking at the moment. Not that we're lucky catching fish anyway, most of the time. What's our speed there? 2.8 knots. 2.8 knots. And over there, at the top, 3.4. 3.4. So not the current. This is what it looks like in all those other YouTube videos. The sea's always flat. This is a leak on the boat. and I can spot another boat. I'm not sure if that's Destiny or one of the other boats that's also left. Maybe we'll get a bit closer in a minute and be able to see further. The wind has picked up a little bit so it's nice. I 
preemptively read the jive preventer over there and uh, now we're just cruising along the beautiful river Day one coming to its end. Not a ship inside, not a piece of land inside, just a couple of birds looking for fish. And we've been cruising like this for a couple of hours. Probably jibe in a half hour or so, get a little bit closer to land again, and then uh, do that for a couple of hours until the next day. Sailing's only, only just a waiting game, it looks like. Especially if the wind wind's working nicely, the weather's okay ish. A couple of drops falling, but you know, could be worse. We're off of Jeffrey's Bay. I don't think you'll be able to see it over there. But we're slowly getting closer. There's a boat out there as well. Looks like a fishing boat, maybe. Guess we'll see them in a minute as they get closer. We've got a chummy at the back there. He's a little bit shy at the moment. Hey, why should I suck? Oh no, he's gone. Rob the seal man. That's the first time we've seen one of them out. No, he's gone now. No, it wasn't 30, huh? Also, it's about sunset there. We're still like 100 nautical miles off. Probably a full day of sailing at this speed, but what you gonna do about it? Eighty eight miles from Nizna, and there's no wind. Uh, just a, a calm sea. So, if you got plenty of time to spare, sell there. If you're in a hurry, fly. Not even the birds are flying. Jeffrey's by should be behind us slightly. Water is flat, flat, flat. Some beautiful mountains in the distance. At least we can see something on that side now. Someone see there's no wind on the water and it's flat, flat, flat. 
Hopefully it picks up a little bit, otherwise we'll get to Naizna in four or five days time. Yeah, that's a dober kenny water. Wind's died. We got the motor running again. I'm steering with my knee. And as far as food goes on the boat, this is the easiest Pizza. and That's some fine. of the cheapest. Lettenberg by in the distance over there. Oh, I don't know if the camera can pick it up. But the water looks like oil. Dark, dark, dark. We got the stars out for the first time. Should be able to see the moon there at least behind the sail. Off over this side. There and the clouds are out. The stars are out. Lovely. Only we can turn off the motor. But I don't think we can. Four nautical miles to Naisna. We cluttered around here at night, waiting for the morning. Because uh, this morning we are taking on the heads and supposedly the trick is to catch them at slack tide, preferably high, uh, but low works as well. We are going to catch it in two hours time which is the beginning of high tide. So uh, yeah, maybe another hour or two, I'm just motoring along slowly to get there and then we'll take on the heads. We're going to stay quite close to the rocks. So that's going to be entertaining, hopefully, not, yeah, anyway, see you in two hours.
2.9 knots, 3 knots, 3.8. Captain Tommy is in charge. Ramming speed. Focusing. Done and dusted, to me. Yeah, yeah. But let's uh, wait till we drop anchor before we get too excited. Huh? <laughs> Looks like there's a... I wonder if that's an area we can come and visit. On a sunny day. On a sunny day. Mm -hmm. 